Today we have a 2017 Dodge Ram 1500 Rebel with the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. We're gonna be replacing all the spark plugs as well as one ignition coil. Um, so uh, first thing we do, we gotta get access to it. So let's go ahead with a flathead, or I believe this is number eight. Let's remove this air trunk here from the air box as well as throttle by, get this out the way. Go ahead and plug this temperature sensor here. Um, I'm going to get this out the way too. This just comes right off. Just pull it off. There's oil there. I'm tell that guy that. But let's get all that off. And then all you got to do is pop this cover upward, slide it out. So let's make that room happen. All right, y'all. So now that we're in here, um, the only thing I did was remove that cover. Also, just kind of push this to the side here. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention, one thing I always do whenever I start working on a car and it's going to take me more than like 30 minutes uh, any time the, tr the hood has one of these lights here, I go ahead and unplug it just to save battery life. Uh, this does have a little, let me see if I can get it out. Little thing you gotta push up for the connector to lock it. So just push that up and squeeze and comes out. Just leave that light off. Um, so now what we're gonna do, that side is kind of just more of a nuisance, but same process. Uh, let's go ahead and unplug everything. One, two, three, four, all on both ends. Um, and then with number 10, we're going to get all these bolts out to get these, uh, coil packs out. Now this is a Hemi. So there's two boots on the coil packs here. So just keep that in mind when taking these out. Uh, I hate that side, <laughs> but pretty much it's all the same comp. We're going to take all these out, unplug all these. Same with this side. The only thing that might get difficult on this end is the, uh, this hose here for the vacuum hose and maybe the pressure sensor for the AC back there, but we can still probably work it out, no big deal. Um, but yeah, so let's so unplug these pretty straightforward and get those bolts out and get everything out. Now, I normally don't do this. I usually just fight around it, but today I'm just gonna see if I just make up as much space as possible working. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the computer here. You can see it's like a lever type. Just push this down, push up, and then just kind of just keep working it out. And it unplugs. Same with the other side. And then I'm going to take off this little tab here and just swing it to the side so we can get more room here, especially since our heater hoses are right here. And I don't really want to go too ham on that, but we can pull this forward and just swing it a little up more so that we have room right here. Okay, guys. So unplug those things. Took the tabs off of here and here. And now just swung it up on top here just to give me all that clearance here. Uh, now you saw that you can see here that I did remove the air box. Uh, you don't have to I only did so because I had issues with this connector here and I kind of had to get in and it wasn't uh, Disengaging these little green parts here as you can see it wasn't pushing this one down because you can kind of see right here It kind of came back a little so I had to get in there and try to work it out But um, if you want to remove the air box, which does give you a lot more space You just have to slide it up and then just kind of work around where this part goes under the uh, AC line here and just, that's it. So it's pretty simple. It's like, why not just do it? So I'm gonna go ahead, unplug all these, number 10, remove all that and get to the spark plugs. Um, one more thing I also wanna mention, uh, cylinder numbers. So for this specific one, I have a cylinder four misfire, which is why we just went ahead and doing a tune up, but also gonna replace the ignition coil just to cover our base. Uh, so pretty much this is the right side, the passenger side. These are two, four, six, eight one three five seven just an fyi so let's get this down all right so now with all my ignition coils removed i'm gonna start taking the start spark plugs out um I'm using two different sizes i mean the same size uh, five eight spark plug tool but just two different lengths obviously i'm gonna use my long one for all of them uh, but my short one here is gonna be used for the back one now earlier i talked about how the heater hoses would just need to be kind of pushed to the side took it off the bracket swung the bracket upward as you can see right here and just have the heater hose to the side there. Uh, so in order to get to that back one, my short one here, I'm gonna do is go here, slide it upward towards the computer right here, and then just drop it in. So in case you have issues trying to get that one, that's how I'm doing it. So I'm going to get all these out, get the new ones put in, and then uh, if you're into torquing them, 13 foot pounds, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're moving all these and putting the new ones in. Okay guys, so I've already Removed and replaced all the spark plugs, torqued down 13 foot pounds, ignition coils back in, new one at cylinder four for our misfire. Uh, heater hoses are back into that bracket. Um, I didn't explain how to take it off, but it's pretty simple. You see here, just push this forward, it'll come out. Um, computer's plugged back in, you just 
like how we did we went up to remove just put it in place and slide this back down and it sucks itself in now i'm just gonna throw this air box air box back in just slides right in and we're gonna go to the other side now all right guys so we're on the left side aka bank one driver's side i already went ahead and remove all the uh coil packs um i think earlier i called this an ac line because i saw the pressure switch this is the fuel line just, just be careful you can manipulate it around as you can see it's not it's pretty flexible so just be mindful be careful of it you can unplug it if you like i left it in these are obviously rubber so they're easy to flex around just be careful of these as well don't let them pop out um so able to get that out so i got all those off easily um no big deal just had to reach under now this one here i left it in here just to give you all an fyi to get this connector out uh it's kind of a nuisance not really but kind of compared to the others because it will jam up against this wire harness here the loom here so what i did was took the bolts out and then just picked up a little bit so that we could just push this forward and give us room to remove this so now we can just go ahead and take these out then yeah like i said you can bend them just a little bit don't go too ham and just take it out so i'm gonna go ahead and remove that now let's get all these spark plugs out all eight okay guys so we've um removed and replaced the spark plugs torqued down 13 foot pounds all eight of them so i already put one ignition coil back in the back there the one that goes under the fuel line um nothing really too hard about that just make sure to line them up before putting the bolts in because you don't want to cross thread them anyways though so give me a view on how these are going in um you can see how my coil is it's literally just at an angle these things flex a little bit just kind of work it in uh, it helps when i use both my hands here but let's see if i can maybe get this in with one hand but looks like i'm getting caught on one of the edges of the uh oh there it goes spark plug tube tube but there you are so um now i'm just gonna line the bolts in and tighten it down okay guys so everything's tightened back down plugs back in just gonna do a double check of everything throw our cover back on and our air trunk and we'll be almost done okay guys covers back on air trunks on i took that hose off earlier put it back in plugged this up tightened it down and one last thing if y'all unplug that just plug it back in and we're pretty much done so thanks for watching please like subscribe more videos come